my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. What's up guys, so let's step straight into today's tutorial and then let's go and click on create new. Alright, so let's keep here 2000, let's keep here 2000 and then let's set here to 100, let's set here to pixels and then let's call it birthday flyer because that is what it is and let's set here to rgb color let's set here to 8-bit white over here click on create and then once it does you just go here to view go here to new guard layout click here click here set here to two set here to two click here as well set here to one 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 and then click here and then we are done with our rulers and everything and our lines and stuff like that let's start with a background shall we background i'll use this particular image this one So, um, like this, and then you click on enter. Great. Now, we are going to put stuff on it, but we don't want all these things over here to take the attention. And so, what we are going to do is um, you go here, you go to blur, you go to Gaussian blur, and set here to 18. 1 8, and click on OK. Now, this way, whatever we are going to put on it is going to catch the eye of the viewer, and that's how we want it to be. And so let's give it a few more adjustments. Let's give it a curve. Create clipping mask over here and drag this this way. Now something like this is quite great. Okay, let's also go back to adjustments. Let's go to exposure. And then for the exposure, let's drag this one here. Something like this is quite good. One minus 1.22. I think it's great and then this one uh, let's do it like this this one let's do it like this also make sure it's clipped to it and then let's bring this curtain drag it in there like that we'll see a little bit so I think this is great all right so it looks quite nice now but this does not match with the background because it looks too white and you don't feel the color over here in it so Let's use color balance to rectify this issue. We're going to clip this to it and then let's move this one and see. So plus 15 or 14 is quite great. And then here to let's see. All right, so here's minus 16 is quite good. Now this also 23 is quite good so you can feel a spill of this color a little bit in here and that is what we are looking for. Now we can put everything in the group and then we are going to call it BG. Great. Now guys this particular image is what I'm going to use for the model but this is a JPEG file. I have a particular video where I showed you guys how to uh, remove the background and then use the model and so I'm going to leave the video in the description also you can check up here there's going to be a card on top of the video as well for you to use so it's background is removed and then let's see that way let's drag her here great 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 i think this is quite good okay so ladies and gentlemen this is quite great but then it does not really match the background you can see the dark areas don't match the dark areas over here and uh, even there's no color the background color does not spill on here as well so let's correct that let's use hue and saturation and uh, this is you let's clip it to the image and then we are going to mess with only the saturation because we want the saturation of the color to match the background and so we are going to move it here minus 28 is quite great and then let's also go here let's go and pick levels and then let's move here clip it to it please move here all right so around 20 is good now we can see the dark areas of the background matches the dark areas of her body and this is awesome and then let's move this one also all 
okay so the light also is quite great now let's move this one a little bit so i think this is quite great you can work with this now you can mess with it and find out the one you love according to your own taste but i think this is quite great now i'm going to also click over here the background i'll pick my ellipse too and the whole shift and then just create a little ellipse over here go here and start it to color white okay now click on your move tool and drag it somewhere here i just want to create a little you know this is designing so we have to be a little bit um artistic and so something like this i'll put everything in a folder or a group and i'll call it the next thing i'm going to bring in there is this particular one drag it here and then reduce it and then just drag it there like that i feel like it's not really round but ctrl t let's drag this yeah awesome and then let's type 10 over here we are going to keep it somewhere in here but before we even do that let's also give it a few color grading as well over here or color correction and then we're going to use hue and saturation as usual let's clip it to it and then let's leave the hue like that the lightness let's leave it like that but then the saturation let's play with it a little bit so minus 27 is quite good you can see that it saturates a little bit with the it matches the the girls color and stuff like that so this is great now with this one let's go and click on our character let's set it to niagara solid and then set it to regular let's come here let's set here to two zero three click on enter and then also make sure here is color white and the tracking here is zero also make sure it is not italics and then let's just drag it in there a little bit let's see awesome now let's tap over here and let's type th great now let's open our character let's use real way and then let's set here to regular as usual let's set here to 32 and then the tracking still setting it to zero color white over here and then let's move it somewhere here great now duplicate it and bring it down here and let's choose m e r now for march we also want to make sure it is railway we want to set here to 39 great and then let's leave everything like that let's try and see whether we can okay so let's pick the two of them and then let's drag them somewhere here great that would mean we would have to enlarge this a little bit more so hold up, shift and alt and then resize like that let's drag it up let's drag it to the side and then this is it um just like that i think we are good we are good all right so this is it now we can put all these things in a folder and then we can call it award awesome let's zoom out a little bit text tool and let's type over here let's pick this detail happy and then let's paste it here now let's go over here we are going to use oracle oracle script set here to regular set the font size to 174 the tracking to 20 and then make it italics we are still using color white and then let's make sure it falls in the middle over here also duplicate it and bring it down and pick birthday and paste it there now let's drag birthday down a little bit so i think something like this is quite great something like this is quite great 
now let's also give it this particular ribbons drag it in there hold shift and resize it like that rotate it like this and drag it on top of it that way and then we are done with the happy birthday let's put it in a folder or a group let's call it happy b day great now i think we can drag the happy b day up a little bit up a little bit and then now we can type over here let's pick her name and then let's put her name there but we don't want to use one font throughout it will make it too boring so let's click over here and then let's use niagara solid all right now we also want to make sure it's not italics we are setting it to regular here let's use one six one here awesome the track and let's leave it at zero and then color white still let's click on it and let's make sure it's also centered or middle aligned awesome awesome let's see let's see let's see i think we need to drag the award up a little bit more just so it doesn't become too crowded we don't want things to be too crowded over here okay so let's drag polar up a little bit more and then let's type over here p now i want us to use a font i've also not used before this is holy mount swash guys i'm going to leave all these things in the description for you so um don't worry at all every everything is going to be in the description for those who have access to my psd files you also find the psd file of this in the description as well when you go there and so let's drag it somewhere here like this i love this already let's put everything in a folder and let's call it name but we are not yet done let's open the folder click over here and then let's see let's make sure it is middle aligned all right it is let's click here and then drag it like that and drag it like that sweet and then let's pick this copy and then let's paste it in there but let's go here let's use railway all right now we are setting here to regular as well and then let's set the font size to 30 and then let's come over here the tracking also set it to 30 and then the so the the leading 30 the tracking here let's set it to 20. piece out nicely let's make it italics just to make it a little bit more different click over here let's give it a peculiar yellow color let's give it f6 c 2 2 f awesome click on ok now open your character over here and then let's see how we can let's see like this no or like that no let's click here um this is also great you can use this or you can use this but i'll prefer to use this okay so you can use this or you can use this uh, but i think i will use this one great so this is it let's control t and let's try and keep it middle align well it's not so let's double click here and then let's drag this one in here like that sweet sweet let's drag it again let's see awesome awesome so so something like this now we are done with that but i think i'll click here i'll click here i'll click here leaving the model i'll just these three and i'll drag them over here a little bit more i don't want them to be too close to the edge and guys um this is how you create something like this but uh, let's give one more touch what do you think let's give one more touch let's go here let's go to gradient map let's click here let's look for black and white black and white just here you no know, black here white and that's all and then let's click over here let's set it to soft light sweet now let's come over here 
and let's reduce it all the way to 50 great let's click on the fill let's reduce it all the way to 50 as well great so this is how it was at first this is how it looks like now the darkened part looks a little darker the brightest side also looks quite brighter this is how i want it to be like and the colors are a little bit bolder i love this guys if you love this video don't forget to hit the bell icon subscribe to this channel comment down below as well and then patronize my psd fast i love you all guys see you in the next tutorial peace